to the mentor's mindset and we're doing a five part series on what makes a great mentor, how to find one. Well, you know, mentors are like these rays or Pringle chips. You just can't have one. So you need a lot. But today's rule, rule number four, is one of the pivotal rules on maintaining a relationship with a mentor. And this is a simple rule called follow up. Well, you know, don't, when you first meet a mentor, don't win, mention the M word. It's as simple as that. You are making a relationship, not closing a sales pitch. Or you don't ask someone to get married on the first day, do you? So build up the relationship with the mentor. It's okay, it will take some time. You're not the only one asking for something from them. So that's very important. You know, a mentor who is a perhaps expert in his field, knowledgeable in his field, may have a lot of people aspiring to be their followers. So that's important to understand. How do you stay relevant in a mentor's mind? How do you stay fresh? You know, the best-selling author and someone whose blogs I really love, Ryan Holiday, has benefited from a lot of mentors. And for that, Ryan says that stay in the picture. You can be easily forgotten by a busy mentor. So drop an email and have questions, have intervals, you know, which is a little not too intruding, but not too distant also. So it's easy to you know, restart something which is alive than to revive the disease. You don't want to do a CPR on a mentor who doesn't even remember your name. One of the best books I can recommend on what a good mentor is, is called Tribe of Mentors by Timothy Ferris. Well, it's a thick book. I took a lot of time. I enjoyed it more like a reference book. So every few days I will go back and read five, six interviews, but it's brilliant and beautiful. It will actually help you to ask the right questions to the mentor. And believe me, keep the blood churning out. Great mentors will make your life amazing. All the best.